Hello, world, and welcome to the Joe and Michelle Show. On Wednesday today, and boy, do we have an amazing show for you today, don't we, Joe? We sure do, Michelle. Mm -hmm. We're going to be covering gourds. Gourds! Because uh, I won't point any mugs here, but apparently on the last episode, somebody... Uh, Diss the gourds. Diss the gourds. So, we're also going to be covering how to dress your dog. Is there anything more important than the topic of dressing your dog? I don't think so. What dog doesn't want to wear pants? That's a good point, Joe. At the end of the show, we're going to be revealing how you can participate in our contest for the best tree toppers. Woo! Tea that tree. Tea that tree, Joe. Tea that tree. Try to top this episode, world. That's right. I don't think you can. I think there's weird... Do you see those lines on me? What lines? There's lines right Oh, there are weird lines. Yeah, let me You're just like hold. an angel. Let's are see we doing like, it? It's our Christmas show. Let's just Fuck do it. it. Do it's, it. It's Christmas. Oh, so get get moving. It's our Christmas show. 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 Okay, that was weird, but... I was trying to shit. It's our Christmas show. We're about to like do it. Look at it this. Get better. it. Christmas show. We're doing it better all day. <laughs> All right, on to our first segment of today's show. I would like to make a public apology to all of those who I offended during our coverage of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Now, Joe, speak, wasn't that amazing? It was incredible. Let's just talk about that. I don't want to procrastinate this apology, but I'm going to procrastinate this apology. She usually does. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, no, it was great. It was a little freezing, um, I believe. It was a little I, cold. It was a little cold. Still looking into toe amputation <laughs> uh, from the well, gangrene. Well, next time, but... keep your shirt on, Joe. <laughs> I mm -hmm. don't wear shirts on my toes, but okay. Does gangrene set in after um frostbite yeah we should look that up it does <laughs> <laughs> I had never even been in New York before other than the times that I was there and it was an incredible time just it was a little cold 100 degrees below what I prefer but it was exactly. it was great it it was, but you know you pay a price to enjoy a good show all right, so back to the public apology. I'd like to apologize to all of you out there that I offended with my crass comments about how it's not cool to decorate with gourds anymore. I discovered that there are over 9,364,002 ways to decorate with gourds. Can you believe that, Joe? It's a real number. Can you believe that? Yeah, no. I just want to take a few seconds here to, to show our viewers at home all of the things that you can do with gourds. So first of all, you can put them on the mantle. Just shove them up there and light a candle and you have got yourself a mantle decoration worthy of the gods. Now the second one, you can make Christmas gourds, Joe. Christmas gourds. Yeah. Now these are some fancy Christmas gourds, but I don't see why you couldn't make them into Rudolph. A lot of people are confused and think that gourds are really only a Halloween thing, but really worldwide, they're a uh, 365 thing. Our next image is of candle holders. What you do is you open up a, a, a lantern or a little candle holder and you shove them in there, maybe throw in some lights. Yeah. Make sure you don't set the whole place on fire and a voila, you have a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous candle holder display. That's right. Who knew you could even make ghost gourds? Michelle, it's not Halloween anymore. No, it's not, but we have to remember there's the ghost of Christmas, present, and past, Joe, and these ghost gourds can, in fact, be part of your Christmas decor. Remember, that's three gourds. That was really good, yeah. yeah. What is, um, I had a joke and then I lost it. What was I talking about? This has been going for five minutes and stop it. Yeah. Okay. Wait, I got it. I got it. Okay. Few people even know that you could cook with a gourd. And then we flash a picture of Gord Ramsey <laughs> cooking. That's it. That's it. Okay. Gord segment's over. I know. We I know. just need to talk like we talk. I know, but talk a little louder and maybe sit up a little more. I'm trying to okay. sit up. This red velvet couch. You gotta sit up like I am. This like on the edge. Just making me slip. Because talk shows have they they look kind of at each other like. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you're right. Yeah. There we go. That's much better. Mm. Much better.
Joe, I know our next topic is something you have been looking forward to all year long. It is truly my favorite. Truly his favorite. How to dress your dog. That's right. Dog fashion. You can't really beat it. This is like... What do you put on your dog during the holidays? It's cold outside and it's a festive season. Exactly. Today we are featuring one of our favorite dog clothing brands. It's called Fit for a Pit. That's Fit for a pit.com. Yep. According to their website, they are de they're developed, they are a brand for all, they What does it say? Developed for, I, it's, oh, okay, come on. So while Fit for a Pit is developed for all dogs in mind, according to their website, their main focus are pit bull types that have been rescued. And the best part about them is that they donate a minimum of 15% of their profits to rescue charities, which is really, really freaking cool. That's huge. Help the community and exactly. help your local dogs. Exactly. So, Michelle, why is it that we love this brand? Great question, Joe. So, once upon a time, we had a pit bull, not this one, but our old dog, and I took her to a puppy boutique that was very she-she, looking for the perfect sweater because, as you know, Joe, they have no hair on their belly. Bear bellies and cold weather are not a good mix. No, 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 not at all. So I took her in there and I asked the lady, excuse me, ma'am, where can I find this size and like this sweater and my dog's size? And she looked at me and said, your dog's a little wide for our selection here. Maybe you should go to Walmart and buy an extra large. A little wide? Yeah, can you believe it? I cannot. Super rude, right? Who uses the word wide to describe a female dog? Rude. Super rude. So, I started on a journey to find the perfect sweater. So, we have our own dog, Queen Noor, modeling the Fit for a Pit uh, red fleece sweater. This and this sweater is an everyday sweater, Joe. You can actually dress it up, you can dress it down. There are so many things that you can do with this sweater. You really can. You can go to a brunch, you can go to a steak dinner, or you can just go for a walk on a Sunday. Or a nap. They work really great as pajamas. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize this was a uh, queen nor wearing every day fit for a pit. Yeah, we went over this. And here we have our... So, to show you what fit for a pit really does... Thank you, Nor. Well done, well done, well done. For more adorable pits, and I'm talking adorable, right? Cute as a button. Oh my goodness gracious. They have hoodies, they've got sweaters, they've got fleeces. Go to fit for apit.com. Check them out. Check them out on Facebook. If you have a pit bull or a dog that's a little wide, um, I highly suggest them. Okay, it's time for our last final segment. What's that, Joe? That is our Tea the Tree Spotlight. Woo! This is going to be a good one, a real good one, because I don't know if you're like me, but really, it's all about that tea tree top. To that, that's a, that's a mouthful. It's all about the tree topper, Joe. It is all about it the tree topper. It makes or breaks a tree. There's, I don't personally, listen, I don't think there's anything worse than walking into a beautiful lobby of a hotel or into somebody's home and being like, their tree's so beautiful. And then you scroll up and you look at the top and you're like, oh, what is that? It's like looking at an ugly baby. It's Nobody horrible. wants to do it. <laughs> you just, you took me on a whirlwind. I know, this is where I need to go. I'm getting it. Wait, hold yeah, on. Let me get into it. Let me get into it. Let me get into it. Get into the spirit. This is where we're thinking. Oh, yeah, there you go. Holiday. Get it, Santa. All right. <clears throat> I don't know about you, Joe, but you know, I don't think there's anything more important at Christmas other than baby Jesus than the tree topper. Maybe even a little more important, um, but... Probably not, Joe. By the most ugly tree topper ever. I'm enacting what you're doing. Oh. The whole time. Okay. I've been doing it. You should be like... Home alone. 
No, it's like an ugly tree topper. You're like, okay. All right, did you not like that? No, You're right. It's, it's just, a little it's in your. It's a little too it's much. It's a little too much. It's, it's, it's do it again. Okay, Joe. Why don't you tell us about this tea your tree spotlight? Everything else was so natural. Like, let's. Okay, let's just talk. We'll let's just talk. cut. We'll just cut it. We'll cut it. It'll be fine. So, Michelle. <clears throat> Can I not do that? Okay. So, Michelle, what do we top our tree with? Oh. Being here in Mexico, what is it that we eat? Oh. Only the best. Look at this cute little angel. I mean, it's tin, it's got the beautiful jewels. That's right, and it's a very traditional Mexican way to top your tree. Is it? Yeah, it Oh, is. well great, so we are prepared. We've got our cute little thing. Look, this is not an ugly baby, people. This is adorable. So here's what we're asking you to do. We would love for you to send us pictures of your tree toppers. Your tree toppers. We want you to show us how you tee the top of your tree. It's easy as one, two, three. Just take a picture and put it in the comments below this video. Absolutely, and what we'll be doing is on our next episode, we're going to spotlight some of our favorites from around the world. That's right. So You're good, go. Tee that tree, Michelle, tee that tree. Hey! And all right, folks, that's all for today. That's it. Don't forget, leave us your best of the best tea tree toppers. Topper tree tea toppers. That was the first tea time I think you tea, said that tea, without topper, topper, tea, stumbling. Tea, 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 tea. It is a mouthful. It is a mouthful. But it's not a timeful. Just take a picture and put it in the comments below. And, uh, yep. and in our next show, we will spotlight the best of the best tree toppers. So make sure you send in your very best. And help us tea that tree. Have a good one, everybody. Bye.